Hello and welcome to probably my last progress video that I'll realistically ever do in BDO. It's not that I'm done with the game, it's that I'm done progressing in this game. I've I've reached to a point where I feel like I'm content and happy with everything I've done in BDO. You know, I've, I've hit 270 plus AP, it's whatever, it's just still, you know, whoever lands the first CC wins. I don't find that entertaining in fighting. It's just not something I look forward to or something I'm looking into. Well, damn, that went. So I guess I'm no longer having problems with my Voltara belt, but I'm gonna sell it for that money. With this extra money, I'll be able to buy Kaffir Stones, get all of my gear up to Kaffir level 3, maybe Kaffir level 4. I got all of it to cap for level three. Also, with all of my money, I'm, I'm gonna buy this Doom Horse. I feel like it'd be pretty fun to have a Doom Horse for Node Wars. So part of me progressing is I'm buying Voltara belts for the 75 HP I'm buying Eye of the Ruin Rings for the 75 HP, so that's an extra 150 HP. Plus, you know, another Eye of the Ruin Rings for another 75 HP, that's an extra 225 HP, if I'm mathing right. And the character I'm rolling over to, I'm just getting level 61 on. If you can tell what it is by the sounds, maybe you'll know. Maybe you won't. So I made enough money grinding it out to 61 that I'm actually able to get all of my armor to Kaffir level 4. Which is pretty exciting for me because, you know, that's another 50 HP every armor. So that's another 200 HP I'm getting there. So if you haven't guessed, I am definitely going for a hit point focused or health focused build. And the more health you have, the less chance you're going to die. My goal with focusing on all of this hit points is going to be for T1 Node Wars. I'm still going to play BDO. I'm just going to do T1 Node Wars. There's no drama. There's no like major alliances you got to worry about. It's just, you know, fun killing people, just smashing each other, smashing guild after guild. It just, you just, you know kill people and there's no real strategy to it so you just you know have fun fuck around pretty much that's what i just want to do so here's an actual look at my build i'm playing a dk i think they're fun and you know they do quite a bit of aoe damage they're they're not the best class for no dwarf if i wanted to go for the best class for this i probably should have picked like a witch or a wizard but if i really don't like the dk i'll probably go to a witch or a wizard so let's talk about this for a second i have red battle red Red Battlefield Crystals in every slot I can. I have Han Hooms in my other slots. And I have Jin Vipers for the accuracy. I probably don't even need those anymore. I could probably switch those out to a Red Battlefield as well. But they're so expensive and I spent quite a bit of money on them. I kind of don't want to get rid of them. So I also have the Giath Helmet instead of the Griffin Helmet because the Giath gives an extra 100 HP. The Dim Tree gives 200 HP. Uh, the begs, you know, just give accuracy and muskins because I don't have enough money left to switch to Urgons. And are Urgons really going to make much of a difference in T1 Node Wars? Who knows? So I'm going to stick with what I have now and I'll be content and happy with it. All of my gear is Kaffir level 4 for my armor at least. The only reason I went for Kaffir level 4 is because each armor set gives an extra 50 max hit points. And quite frankly, 
The more hit points you have in a capped node war, the harder you are going to be killed. With full buffing, I can get 4,500 HP for sure. I might be able to get 4,600 HP. I mean, that's for Dark Knight. I feel like that's quite a bit in my opinion. So I have, you know, whales for HP as well, Valtara, like everything I have is giving me hit points that's possible. I also went with the Sealith weapon because that gives extra human damage for node wars. I went with the blue awakening weapon because that gives a little more human damage than a dandy does and it's quite frankly a lot cheaper and I only need to get 235 AP and I'm over both of that. So this is my T1 node war build that I'm just going to have fun with. Any more BDO videos I do, it'll just be like Nodewar highlight videos. There won't be any more progressions. I'm sorry if that's what you wanted to see, but I'm currently waiting for another MMO to come out because I'm I'm not enjoying the BDO grind as of like the gathering, killing 10,000 mobs every single day. It's just, I'm not into that anymore. We're looking for something else, but I still really like this game. So I'm going to stick around for Node Wars. If you are in a T1 Node War guild, and if you think you know that I could help you guys out, let me know. I might be able to join you.